I used to watch lots of documentaries. Mostly on Discovery Channel, National Geographic and Animal Planet. I immediately knew that I had to travel the world. So last week, Aura and myself decided to go to the heart of China to meet the pandas. We said goodbye to Milo, hopped on a plane to Kuala Lumpur, stuffed our faces in fast food before our next flight, and because we could not get our Chinese visa in Bali, we have to stay for two days in Hong Kong. We explored Hong Kong, then hopped on a ferry to mainland China. Eventually we got the Chinese visa and proceeded to the Shenzhen airport, celebrated with some sweets and waited for the last flight to Chengdu. It's cold here. Time to get something to eat. Shishuan food is worldwide renowned, so we had to taste it. After such a feast, a walk in the park is exactly what I needed. The parks in China are more than just places to escape from the busy city. They are also a popular place for older people to socialize. This is the People's Park. At any time of the day you can find people singing, dancing or doing fitness to very loud music. The noise was so loud that the park's administration had to install noise monitors and the people must keep the noise under 80 decibels. Another popular thing to do in the park is to have a cup of tea with some sunflower seeds and if you're brave enough you can let a local specialist clean your ears. There is even a blind date corner or marriage market where marriage advertisements are publicly posted each weekend. Tomorrow will be all about the pandas. Today is all about the Sichuan cuisine.
We saw how the chili sauce is made, how the soy sauce is made and how the world thinnest noodles are cut blindfolded. Now it's time for another feast, this time a little more extreme. Now it's panda time.
The pandas were so cute. We spent three hours there even though it was freezing cold. And I heard that up until last month you could even hug a panda. I'm a little bit sad that that's not allowed anymore, but I'm also happy because I think that was stressing the pandas. Today we're hiking on the mountain, which in China means climbing a lot of stairs. short trip changed my whole perception about China and I can't wait to visit it again. But for now we have to go back to Bali, enjoy some sun and plan our next trip. Thanks for watching, that's it, tomorrow is another day.